a message from our team. Outlaws, you've been roaming the Outer Rim for almost a month now, and we want to thank you for, again for your support. Your feedback is invaluable in helping us prioritize the improvements and changes we will make to the game. We've, uh, we're hard at work creating multiple title updates, which will bring optimization, gameplay polishing, and tweaks as well as quality of life changes, including adjustments to combat and stealth gameplay. Uh, do you think this is actually going to happen? Right? Do you, do you do you think this is actually going to happen? I don't think so. I don't know. It's Ubisoft. They can fuck you. I don't I, I don't know, man. A lot of stuff they've been coming out with has been really bad. And we did see their stocks. It's, it got down to like nine. Holy crap, man. Furthermore, that's not all. Our very first story pack, Star Wars Outlaws Wildcard, will also be launching on November 21st. And we'll see Kay and Nyx infiltrate a high stakes Sabak. Sabak tournament where they will face off against the legendary Lando Calrissian. In addition, new contracts will be added for free for all players. Man, they're really hemorrhaging money, huh? Yo, they've been hemorrhaging, hemorrhaging a lot of money. Uh, for our PC players, we're also thrilled to announce that the game will be available to Steam starting November 21st. Doesn't Ubisoft have their own... Uh, like a uh, browser launcher but don't they have their own like service thing on the computer man and we do know that steam takes 30 percent of the revenue man they are desperate now here's the thing now we can see just how many people are playing star wars outlaws on pc we for with the steam charts this is this, this is not going to be this is not bode well for them right we're going to see the actual numbers to see how many people are because a lot of people are going to be playing on pc now here's the thing though here's the thing imagine making k vest extremely hot and attractive look humbly gonzalez extremely attractive woman in real life right i've seen all of her pictures all of them at least what it, whatever that i saw okay but the thing is that means that you can mod the game. You can make her have bigger boobs. You can make her have bigger ass. Now, the thing is that will Nexus mod allow you to do that? Right? Will Nexus mod allow you to do that? Nexus mod. Oh my God. Geralt is black. Please keep up the good work. Nexus. Also Nexus mod. What do you mean a fix Angraboda? She's always been African. You're getting banned. And I guess... White Angraboda has been banned by Nexus mods. Right? Now, do you think that they're gonna... The unugly... Like, the beautification of KVS. Will that actually drive players to play Star Wars Outlaws? I don't think so. But it will make it interesting, right? So, the thing is, we do know that... They're making... They made Dame Aelin uh, a male. And that mod was completely banned from Nexus mods. So, uh, yeah, Nexus mod is fucking cringe as fuck. And the thing is that now we have Star Wars Outlaws coming to Steam and PC starting the 21st. You're going to see a lot of beautifications of KVS. And I'm looking forward to those big titty ones for sure. There's a segment over here that I do want to bring up that's pretty important. And I believe this is their Ubisoft uh, trading update emergency call today. Uh, I think it was today or yesterday. Uh, let's hear it. Welcome everybody and thank you for joining the call on such a short notice. Our second quarter fell short of expectations. Turning to Star Wars Outlaw, portion of players have expressed dissatisfaction, notably on stealth mechanics and overhaul polish. I want to reaffirm that we are an entertainment first company and our goal is not to push any specific agenda. I I wonder why they have to they have to say that, reiterate that. Right? I wonder why they have to reiterate that is because, you know, our company is an entertainment company first and our goal is not to push any specific agenda. Really? Really? Then why do you have DEI garbage in your, uh, in your, uh, you know, your, your freaking hiring process, right? And then you have the mentorship program where you, you have to be a female or identify as female or non-binary in order to be, in order to for you to be accepted into that mentorship program. 
I don't know, man. I, I'm pretty sure you guys are 100% agenda driven. And the ghost of Yote, um, so the, the sequel to Ghost of Tsushima, looks an awful lot like Assassin's Creed uh, Shadows. Oh, no. Oh, man. That is true, right? Ghost of Yote looks like a better, well, more, more polished versions of Assassin's Creed Shadows. Okay, let's, let's, let's see. So, is there a risk that uh, you start bumping into that one that people will not buy Shadows? That's a good question. The competition uh, related to Assassin's Creed Shadows. Uh, the, the focus is... Uh, sure that, uh, we uh, uh, oh, no, he started... Um, uh, uh, oh, uh, my God. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, that's a lot of us. That's that's a sign of that you're not you're not so sure what's going to happen, right? Oh my god. Uh uh uh. Oh man. In the setting taking place. Oh my god, dude. This this is the emergency call. Uh, in a setting taking place in this field of Japan, um, that should, re should be really enticing. Any color you can provide on the incremental development cost to get the game ready. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> now, f the excess of cost will, um, will be uh, around 20 million. We need more money to make the game not look like shit. We need more money to make sure our game does not look like Ghost of Yote. Oh my god, man. Oh man, they just keep failing, dude. Oh my god, how is this? Oh, oh my god.